Yes, hello, my name is Carlson. Um, I'm going to show you some basic uh, about Apps Maker Store and how you can build your application for uh, any businesses um, selected from uh, various industries that um, they support and also um, how, how the basic operation of that is. So uh, let's go down there and, and start with something uh, simpler. So as you can see, I'm already logged in now. So the first time you log in, you will uh, need to subscribe. At the moment, that's 999. I think it's a campaign that they're running at the moment. Um, so let's go here for a typical application for nail and beauty salon. So as you can see here, the goal with this application and the way this works is that Apps Maker Store have already made the application for for you. So it's hosted on their servers, you don't need any hardware, nothing. It's basically a template that meets uh, the demands on the typical hair and nail salon beauty would like. So that's functionalities like uh, for customers to book appointment. Also with uh, research, uh, resource um, management. So it means that if you have four hairdressers, you can set up four hairdressers with one hour interval and stuff like this so that you don't have overbooking. Also loyalty stamp when the customer visits. Uh, GPRS, uh, push notification, and also to sell creams and stuff like this, products and services in general. Uh, of course, social media, sharing, sharing in general, some food galleries and, and reminders and, and stuff like this. Most of the functionalities any hair, nail and beauty salon would, would like to, to have. So, as I'm already on, on the paid plan now, I'm, I'm already there. So I will just go here, you don't need to subscribe, and then you come into this room. Uh, it looks a little bit not a little bit, but exactly like this. So here you can see the different gadgets. So what Apps Maker Store have done here is that they have taken out the gadgets that are mostly used, um, and that's the gadget that we were reading about. Uh, but then again, you're free to like remove uh, the gadget you would not like to have, and also add additionals. It's about 30 different gadgets. Um, here you can see the design where you can, and also here you can upload the application logo itself that will be showing on the phone, and also logo and background photos, um, or you can select colors. So here you can see that. As Apps Maker Store is supporting three different uh, user interfaces, meaning one for smartphones, one for tablet, typical iPad, and one for screens. You can uh, have different uh, photos in the background. So that actually means that if a customer is opening from an iPad, the picture needs to be different. If not, it will look kind of silly. Uh, so you have some options. I'm going to go over that part more, more detail. And here you have the different styles. So as you can see now, the style is like uh, in a row here, but if you want to have the more uh, traditional uh, iPhone style, it, you, you will have that there. And you have a lot of other styles. So you just select a style that's suitable for you, and, uh, and that's it. One of my favorites is this, is, is the one that people in general are most used to. You have a big uh, area here where you can show what you're showing, and it's quite um, nice that we have uh, the gadgets and under, under here. Um, then again, you have the message board. So when your application has been published to iTunes and to Android, you can actually send push notification from here. So as we all know, when we get push notifications sometimes, some of the application, you get a message, and when you press on it, nothing more happens. So by that, we have a history of um, push notification that you can save in the blog gadgets. So you can select here, but then again, you need to have the blog gadget added. Uh, you can also send push notification based on you want to send it right now, or you want to send it on the timer. So here you can select the date and time you want to send it. 
So if the customer is in another time zone, for example, you can send it in the middle of, middle of the night. <coughs> By saying that, I would also recommend to not send too many push notifications because what's happened then is that customers will actually uh, either remove your application or turn push notification off. So when a customer downloads your application, here you can see uh, that application. The first question, as we know, is like, you would like to receive push notification or not? And if, you, if they press yes there, as, as most do, uh, you should not abuse that uh, trust. Um, here we also have the preview uh, section. So you can actually look how the application itself looks. You can also scan this QR code if you haven't already opened it by the SMS you receive uh, to view how the application looks on your device. Um, so you can see how the application would look uh, lying down, uh, also on an iPad format. As you can see, it's a little bit different there. And you can actually play around with it also. It's important. So if we drag this to the left, and you see different menus and stuff like this. So here you see how that application will look when it's sideways on the tablet. Uh, and we also now have supported for uh, PC, Mac. So it's actually a web browser. So the style that's being used there for now is typical Windows. And they're adding now uh, new styles all the time. So, so this is one. So AppSmith Store is a little bit more than just an application is actually like a one-stop shop shopping become. Then again, some customers also would like to prefer, okay, we already have a website that we're quite happy with, but we would like to have uh, one system handling uh, shopping, for example. So as you can see then, under the gadget selection that I will show you later is that you can actually script out just a certain gadget that you can have on your web page. This, you, this way you're also using uh, the Apps Maker Store as a one uh, handling system for handling your, your, your shopping. Uh, so that's quite good. So when you um, make all the changes and everything, there are some important things here. So this one is the most important, it's a save button. Uh, I know that this button is going to be changed, so it's more clear what it actually is, but Every time you do something to your application, please make sure to press here, because then you actually save. Also here, if you press, press here, you will see the list of other applications that you might have. Um, so, on this part, you can change the logo of the application itself. So if you have a logo there, you upload a file. And you can also see how many users that is online, or how many users that have uh, viewed your application. Also here you have a short name description that you can edit. So you press here and type in uh, my spa clinic uh, and you just hit enter and, and, and it will be saved. When you have uh, done all this and adjusted your settings, you come to this section. And here you actually add your developer credentials. In the same way as you're having your domain from a domain provider, um, that's yourname.com, for example, you need to have a developer account. You can get that by signing up to Android. It costs, uh, I think it's $25. Um, for Facebook, you don't need it because we synchronize with Facebook also. And for HTML5, you don't need that. But you need it for iTunes and Android iTunes is $99 per year. So when you have been approved as a developer, uh, it means that you have your own developer name. So when I search your name on iTunes, your name will pop up or your business name. Uh, it will be certain credentials here that you upload. And when you have uploaded this with the correct um, images and everything here, you press save. The moment you press save, it goes an alert to our team that you want to publish your, your uh, application. They will then view um, the, um, the content of your application, if everything is correct, and give you feedback if not, and upload the application for you. A normal waiting time for Android application is typical within one week. 
it's actually supposed to be less, but, but worst case. Um, iTunes are very, very strict on this, so it can take up to three weeks, but normally that's also quite fast. Um, so what happened then is when we upload it on your developer account, uh, you will be notified by uh, Apple or Google directly when your application is live. So, so, that's, so that's another chapter. So if we go back to the dashboard itself here again, um, to see how that is. This is also quite interesting. I'm just going to show you. It's actually a survey made uh, fresh. It's 30th of January 2015. It's made by Clutch, uh, uh, analyzed company. So what they have done is that they have done a survey around 12 leading mobile application developing companies. Uh, it's companies in Ukraine and a lot of other low-cost additional offshoring companies. So a lot of the application that you can find ready for your use as a template on Apps Maker Store. This application that would typically cost uh, from the low end here, $38,000 till $171,000. If you're talking about the full e-commerce solution that Apps Maker Store have where you have uh, live updates, uh, when you do changes on the CMS system here, up to the native store itself with directly updating the users and everything, we are talking in, in this area. So for getting that uh, kind of application for your own business at such a low subscription price as you can get with Apps Maker Store, it's, it's quite amazing. But I can recommend you to, to read this um, and you will understand a little bit why. Yeah. So when we go in here, and uh, as you can see, there's some area here where it said sub it means that it's actually a gadget under a gadget. It's a hierarchy the same way as you can do on the website. Because you don't want to have a customer scrolling back and forward here like 20 different pages. But you might want to build a structure. So, for example, under About Us, it's logic that subscribe to news gadget will be. Or leave a message. Or it could be Facebook. Or it could be Twitter. Stuff like this. Uh, so under fashion, this is an R RSS, it's very, very simple, it's just getting content uh, from the internet. So here you can see typical how that works. So it automatically updates based on the RSS site. Um, if you go into shopping here, that's it's more advanced. Uh, you see that the customer will have a search filter where you can search. You also have loyalty, stamp, gadget as a sub-gadget of this one. And you can also upload uh, images and, and everything here. Um, also, customer review is quite uh, important, but it's also very important that you uh, go in and actually check it. Because as you can see here, uh, if there were any new reviews, it would be in here. And you can also add references from custom customers that are happy for doing business with you. It's quite a powerful statement when customers is wondering um, how is it actually to, to be dealing with, with you. Um, so the shopping uh, application, if we go in here, if you were selling good, you have a lot of lot of options. You can add categories, for example, shoes, and you can also add subcategories to that, for example, tennis shoes. Uh, yeah, golf shoes, whatever. And you can add the product and assign to the different categories. And you can also add um, settings. For example, when a customer is making an order, it comes up predefined messages when you approved and, and stuff like this. Also, if you're building an application where you're actually having the, the shopping, you should you should do the following because of course on the web page itself you will be notified by email if you get a new order and stuff like this 
that's on this area here actually so here you can handle orders and if if there were a new order you could go in and approve and stuff like this but apps maker store is actually made uh, made an application for you to handle your application it's quite fancy and it's called apps maker store order manager you find it both on itunes and you find it on google so you can go in here, you log in with the same credentials that you have on appsmakerstore.com and you will get push notification every time someone buy from you. And you can also go in here, change the order, press to approve, you can have click to call and you can also pop up with SMS credits, meaning that the customers uh, will be getting notification by SMS based on the action that you set. For example, you approve the order, you mark the order as delivered and stuff like this. So it's actually the messages that I was showing you here, that will come to that customer. Um, you can also here set the, the fields that you want the customer to be uh, filling in for being able to buy from you. Uh, you can also add your credentials for the different payment type. You can also have cash if you want that. You can select the currency, uh, tax, title of tax, and tax percent that will be automatically calculated from the order itself um, so, so that is quite uh, useful um, this part now is being replaced I know it's a printer actually supporting so it means that the full post service so when the order makes uh, there it comes out the print but it's being replaced at the moment with uh, Google Cloud printers so that means that if you have any kind of network printer should be able to, to work with that. Uh, open up for, for a lot more opportunities here. Um, so that's basically it. I will be adding more videos, uh, but this is a brief introduction of the Apps Maker Store functionalities. We have a lot of videos on the different gadgets and stuff like this that we can show you, but this is brief introduction so i hope it helped you and if anything post on or contact me on at rudy Carson on twitter uh, or uh, on apps maker store because i work with apps maker store so thank you so much and we talk later on